There's legs. Too. We've seen some really cool birds already on our walk. I guess this is a some official site for the National Autobahn Society. Does that mean you can bring your car here and race it as fast as you want? <laughs> the Auto Bond. Oh. How many of you are getting sick and tired of hanging around in your RVs or inside the house? Well, you are allowed to get outside here in Arizona right now. And one of the great places just southeast of Phoenix in Gilbert, Arizona is Veterans Oasis Park. And it's really cool to get outside right in the middle of the city. There's about two miles of hiking trails. There's a couple of lakes. There is a ton of flora and fauna and evidently screaming children. And um, you can fish here, you can bike ride here. Some of the trails are paved and some are not. And there's a really cool thing, it's called the Solar System Walk. So we're gonna go take a look at that and share that with you. And if we see some cool birds, we'll share that with you too. They're building new houses all the way around here, but they've uh, set aside all this land yep. for this really cool park. Yeah. And we're coming up on, it looks like there's what, two or three lakes here. Yeah. Oh. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Let me see. An egret or a crane, an egret. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get close to these ducks to see what kind they are. There's all different colors and sizes. Wow, there's another lake over here. There's like, there's lakes. Right We've seen some really cool birds already on our walk. I guess this is a some official site for the National Autobahn Society. Does that mean you can bring your car here and race it as fast as you want? <laughs> the Autobahn. Oh. You know what a cool thing is about spending the winter in Arizona instead of Florida? Oh. I can go down to this lagoon and not, get eaten. and not get eaten by an alligator or not even be worried about it. Oh. He's afraid of it. Because it's loud. Now yeah. let's see. Look! Now he'll try to get in it. Get some more water. Get some water? Get some, some water? Some Good boy. Put more water. Put more water. Hey you. Can I get some water? On, there you go. Nice. Good boy. This is the start of the solar system walk here at um, Veterans Oasis Park. And they've got all of these markers. This is the beginning where it tells you all about our solar system. And then, if you look this way, <laughs> you can see each of those markers. You can see each of those markers tell you about um, the proportional distance that each of those planets are from starting with the sun. And as you get further around the trail, then they get farther apart of course. So it's really cool, educational for even for me. There was things I didn't know like a meteor was part of a broken off asteroid. The tipped over planet. So now we're at Saturn, the sixth planet um, from the sun. And each stop tells you exactly uh, when that planet was discovered and its size and proportions and compared to the other planets. 
The cool thing on this trail is it also includes asteroids and teaches you about asteroids and meteors, which are actually broken off pieces of asteroids. Didn't know that before. So we kind of started at the outer limits of the solar system and each planet was proportionally really far apart as we were pretty far away from the sun. But now as we get closer to the sun and our earth, all of these planets get closer together. Mars. They got closer and closer until we arrive home. And there's all about Earth. And then Venus. And see how they're getting closer. And Mercury. And then our own star, the Sun. Evidently the quail know this is where they're supposed to hang out. They put up a sign so they can see it. And that just went by. So many birds. Did you see the quail just run across? They're so cute. Look how cute they are. They're really bad parents. They'll cross the street right when you're driving by, which is kind of traumatic. If you hit one. When we lived out here, they would go running down the top of the block wall behind our house, and we had the roadrunner running down the top of the block wall by our house. And later I found out the roadrunners eat the quail babies, so I'm not so enamored with the roadrunner anymore. after you He's in. There's a wonderful nature center that's currently closed due to the coronavirus. We visited there earlier this year, and it's really interesting for all ages. Like, who ever heard of a gift shop in the middle of a suburban town park? This is so special.
desert hairy scorpion. Ugh. And this is a gopher snake. It's very active right now. Could have been, it could have been a former farm area or dairy area. Dairy area. Dairy area. Dairy area. 